Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how I managed to beat Rufus Shinra, a boss fight towards the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like. As ever, all your support is massively appreciated. But obviously to start with, you just want to get moving and then build up your ATBs with attacks on Dark Star. And then when it comes into an attack like this, this is a perfect opportunity to get in a triple slash. Now ordinarily a triple slash will detach the link between Darkstar and Rufus. However, if he's too far away, then it doesn't actually work. So instead, I kind of focused a lot of my efforts on using fire damage on Darkstar because it does a lot of damage and can sometimes sever the link as well. Plus there's the added benefit that you can sometimes damage Rufus a little bit with fire magic. So it's a good one to use to chip both of them away. When you go into the second phase, Rufus will attack you a bit more with projectiles. So he's got bright lights and thunder magic and you can use rolls to get out of the way of that and obviously give yourself a cure anytime you need it. And then it's just the case of rolling around, finding yourself a good position and then hitting up that triple slash to sever the link. However, you've got the added challenge of then trying to get in damage on Darkstar before you can get close enough to Rufus to be able to get the link back again. And it's for this reason and the fact that the triple slash doesn't always sever the link that I actually preferred using fire magic and focusing all of my efforts to finish off Darkstar as quickly as possible, which would then leave me with just Rufus Shinra to take on. So then I just kept skipping out of the way, waiting for my opportunity, using fire damage and be because it got both of them, it was enough to be able to bring Darkstar down and allow me to switch over to Punisher mode and finish him off really quickly. And then you've got the challenge of just taking down Rufus on his own without Darkstar getting in the way. And you can see as soon as you get in your hits when he's reloading, he can sometimes flip that on you. So it doesn't always work, but the idea is whenever he's reloading, you should get in to do your damage. So you can roll out of the way of the majority of his hits. And ideally, if you can hit him and he goes down on the ground, you want to get in your abilities as quickly as possible at that stage. However, it can be a little bit nervous because you're trying to roll out of the way. So just try to do your damage, get in close whenever he's reloading and then hit him with an ability but it doesn't always work and it's just a slow, slow attrition where you're just chipping away at his health. There you can see he's down, so that would have been the perfect opportunity to get him, but I was too busy trying to get in, get my hits and roll on out before he could get me. However, on this next one, I was able to unleash my Limit Breaker at the same time. It missed the first hit, but it got in the second few, so that helped me to get him below halfway health. And then I tried to use a little bit of fire magic, which actually did a really big amount of damage. So if you wanted to take some of the sting out of this fight, you could definitely use as much fire damage as you want, avoid all of his hits, use an ether every now and again, and just keep fire damaging the hell out of him until he's finished. Or you can just keep on chipping away at him, as I did, which was enough to be able to take him down. So again, just waiting for him to reload, get in my hits, and then unleash a braver ability, and that was enough to finish him off. And that is how to beat Rufus here in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hopefully that helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side, and check out the rest of my guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below, let me know what you think of the tips, and I will catch you next time.